Hi there. Today we're going to practice counting groups of tens and ones up to 20. Our first directions say count the records, then type the missing numbers. Now you see below, they want it as tens plus ones, and then the total number. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to count the top row to make sure that there's 10 in it. Go ahead and count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there is ten. When I have a group of ten, I circle it. Okay? So when we talk about tens here, we're talking about groups. How many groups of tens we have. Now, how many do we have left over down here that don't fit into a group of ten? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. And so we have six left over. So how many groups of tens do we have? We have one big group. We have one big circle. Okay. And how many do we have left over? Six. That's our ones. So we had one group of ten and we had six ones left over which gives us a total of 16. Now look at, and to get your total, yes, I can count every single record, but that's gonna take a longer time. You could just take the one, bring it over, take the six, bring it over and get 16. Let's try another one. Count the bicycles, then type in the missing numbers. Now just looking at this, do I have at least 10? No. So can I make a circle around 10 bikes? No. So how many tens do I have if I don't have any circles? What is it? Right, it's zero. We don't have any tens. But how many bikes do we have that don't fit into a group of 10? Two. So zero tens and two ones means how many bikes do I have in all? Two. Good job. Next, count the planes and type in the missing numbers. Now, this looks similar to the bicycles because do I have at least 10? I definitely don't. So how many tens do I have? I don't have any. I have no groups of tens. How many ones do I have? How many single airplanes do I have left? One, two, three. I have three, which means how many total airplanes do I have? Three, good job. Next, count the bicycles and type it in below. We do have a lot. So we know that we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We know we have ten bicycles in our top row. So we circle that group of ten. That is one set of tens. How many bikes do we have just left over here? One, two, three. We have three that are left over. So that means that those are our ones. This is our 10. This is our one. So how many groups do we have of 10? We only have one group of 10, that top row. How many do we have left over that didn't fit in the group? Three. So what's our total number? 13. Great job. Let's do another one. Count the planes and type in the missing number. All right, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Do I have a group of ten? Yes. So I circle it. Do I have any left over? that didn't fit in the group of 10. No, I have none left over. So how many tens do I have? How many circles do I have? I just have one circle. That means I have one group of 10. And how many ones did I have left? How many did I have left over that weren't circled? None. So what is my total number of airplanes? 10. Great job. Let's keep going and try some more. 
Count the basketballs. All right, we know this top row has 10. So let's circle our 10 at the top. Okay, so we have one group of 10. Let's count the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine on the bottom row. Those are our leftovers. Those are our ones because there's not enough to make a group of 10. So how many groups of 10s do we have? We only have one group of 10. So we put a one in the 10s place. And how many basketballs were left over that were on the bottom row? Nine, that gives us our ones place. So what is our total number of basketballs? 19. Okay, next one, count the batteries. All right, let's start by circling our group of 10. And how many do we have left over that don't fit in? One, two. Okay. How many groups of tens did I have? One group. How many are left over that don't fit in a group of ten? Two. That's our ones. So how many total batteries do we have? Twelve. Excellent. All right. Oh my gosh. How many bowls do we have? I only see one. So how many groups of tens is that? Zero. There's no groups of tens. How many ones are there? There's only one bowl. So how many total bowls are there? One. Next one, count the tricycles. All right, let's count. Count with me. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight. Is that enough to make a group of ten? No, I only have eight. So how many tens do I have? Was I was I able to make any groups? No. So we put a zero in the tens. How many bikes do we have? Eight. So what's our total number of bikes? Eight. Let's do one more. Count the buses. This top row we know has how many? Ten. Circle it. That helps it stick out that we have a group of ten, and that gives us our tens place. How many are left over at the bottom? One, two, three. So, how many tens do we have? One. There's one group of ten. And how many are left over that didn't fit in a group? Three. So what is our total number of buses? Thirteen. Great job today. You did amazing.